Actually, we're now live. We are now live. Okay. Yeah, I, got the I got it. I got it. Oh, my exercise is well. All the buttons we got to push so we can see the screen. We are now live. The got it button is gone. Uh, this is Senate Finance. And what it is, I believe, the 25th on Friday. And we have one bill left. We've been doing some pretty long sessions on the floor, just cleaning out all the yes bills that have come over. So we're going to continue our work. This is age 556, an act related to exempting property owned by Vermont recognized Native American tribes from property tax. And what we've heard is there's very little of that right now, but there's no limit. Um, and just wanted to let the league who will be probably picking up the loss for this revenue on their tax have a chance to tell us their thoughts, any concerns they might have. So Karen, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Senator. And, and thank you for um, hanging in there this afternoon to hear from us. Uh, the bill would, as you say, um, exempt real and personal property owned by a Vermont recognized Native American tribe or a nonprofit organization organized for the tribe's benefit and controlled by the tribe as long as it's used for purposes of the tribe. Our understanding is that right now there are four parcels that are eligible for this exemption um, in Barton, Swanton, Brattleboro, and in Brunswick. Uh, and the joint fiscal note that was prepared by Julia Richter, I believe, um, said that it would cost the education fund about $7,000, which is <clears throat> really nothing um, when you consider their $1.9 billion uh, budget. It is just Excuse me. I haven't talked all day and I'm losing my voice. Um, the impact on municipal taxes wasn't um, quantified in the joint fiscal memo. It's going to be somewhat less than uh, than the seven thousand um, dollars. So we, in general, support this bill, which may come as a surprise to you because we generally do not support exemptions from the property tax that are um, particularly those that are enacted by the legislature. Um, it would. Uh, it, it, it would, via this exemption, the municipality would not be on the hook for the education property tax, which, which is an important consideration. And I think because these are Native American tribes, we, um, the, it, it's important that we recognize um, their, their status and uh, support the, the bill. The one suggestion that we would have is that um, there be some mechanism for revisiting the question or at least understanding the new impacts of exemptions if there are other properties that become eligible for, for the exemption. As you mentioned, Senator, it's it's open ended at this point in time, and um, I think it would be helpful to have some kind of mechanism for reevaluation if other parcels are added. Okay, so yeah, given the concern that's been heard and the issues around the country with casinos, and I know that was slowed down the recognition of tribes in this state um, because the administration at that time was concerned about casinos. Um, so maybe we can think of a way to um, word some kind of a trigger that would allow the tribes to have their own land, but it, it became a large commercial activity uh, yeah, the, um, from my understanding that the phrase saying that as long as it's used for purposes of the tribe was 
designed um, somewhat to, to constrain that. Um, we do we do think that uh, maybe you could just put in that the when other parcels or in the event that other parcels are added, you, you the legislature will revisit the issue. Okay, I know that they would like to add some. There was talk about having a garden and you know some meeting space and. Uh, as, as they grow and, and their ability grows. So, okay. Yes. Senator Pearson. <clears throat> Hi, Karen. Um, can, can, I, I just want to be careful. You know, it feels like new, uh, a new exemption, but there's a lot of exemptions. And so I, I'd like your help understanding if a nonprofit organization buys a building that had been privately owned, had been on paying property taxes. That is now exempt by virtue of being owned by a nonprofit. Do I have that right? The um, so so I would say generally speaking, yes, but I did talk to the um, town administrator in Swanton about this question. Um, that's Brian Savage, who was in the house wow. until fairly recently um and the the building that's up in swanton is the old um bus barn i guess and it's uh owned by the tribe i'm not sure if it's managed if they have a nonprofit arm there um swanton by the way said that it would be supportive of this ex exemption but to your point, they're not supportive of a few other exemptions in that have recently occurred in Swanton, one of them being around a medical group having a pharmacy that is in some of the downtown space. And, um, you know, how did that come about? So I would say there's some inconsistencies and lack of clarity around when a nonprofit and what kind of nonprofit would be eligible for a tax exemption. We also, as, as you know, um, have had concerns about property tax exemptions, both the statutory ones and, um, well, for the most part, the statutory ones that uh, have in place, been in place for some time. Those tend not to be revisited at any point in time. Um, and, uh, and I think yeah. that's an issue. That, that's kind of what worries me. A new church shows up, buys some land, they're immediately exempt from tax. Nobody's, you know, I, I, I'm not unsympathetic to this dynamic, especially for the towns, but I'm a little leery to sort of treat lands owned by by native americans differently than we treat churches let's say and we're sort of correcting that but we're so that that's where my hesitation comes in terms of this kind of amendment. well there are i mean churches have to be used for religious purposes yeah the yeah housing that goes with the church right. is not exempt which and is which is a parallel which to this. is here i think tribal purposes is a new definition for us. Um, if I opened a casino and the tribe all benefited from it, as happens out in other areas, is that a tribal purpose? Well, That's a, yeah. And we can deal with that when we get to it, but um, I think it's just some experience in other parts. I don't think we're ever gonna get there, but. You might know. want to deal with a definition of purposes of the tribe before you get to that particular situation. Yeah, if, if ever. So I, I don't know if we're doing a discussion or just questions, but um, which. Well, if we have questions for Karen, and if we don't have questions for Karen, then we can go to discussion. Well, I can make it a question for Karen and then we can discuss. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I agree with Senator Pearson. I, I wouldn't want to treat this property tax exemption any different than any others, but I understand your concern about some sort of review 
So I would prefer that we do, if we're going to do a review, do a more general review of property tax exemptions rather than a specific review of the tribal property tax exemption. Because I, I think it, frankly, it would be discriminatory if we yeah. if we don't have a review of churches, but we do have a review of tribal lands. That's not that's not okay. Um, and then there are some towns like my hometown that has a ton of property that's exempted because there's an educational institution there. So we're sitting in the middle. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Burlington. And, and Burlington as well. Maybe not Orange County. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's it's got tax exempt stoplights. But yeah. uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> one. That's the one stoplight in Orange County. No, there's more than one in Bradford. So I guess I would prefer to do a more global look than a specific look. Senator, I didn't ask you a question, Karen. I'm sorry. What do you think of that? There you go. We would be all in on okay. having a periodic <laughs> review of property tax exemptions. And okay. you, you've set the, um, you know, you've, you have a lot of the information you need with your tax expenditures reports that you um, get every couple of years now. And maybe we'll put that on the agenda because it has been a number of years since we looked at it. I know some of the towns are asking for payment in lieu of taxes to new things that would come off the tax rolls, but it, it tends to be the cities, uh, such as they are in Vermont, uh, that whole educational, religious, um, you know, and charitable. Uh, my local mental health agency owns quite a few properties in central Vermont. So um, I think, and they all require services and they get them. So it might be time to take a look again. Senator. Just gonna say we get a review of the current policies for religious institutions and yeah. museums and, and apply the same thing. Broadcasting news, yeah. yeah. Which is the last thing that brought this up. Did, did, Karen, if we if we pass this bill, setting aside the proposed language, uh, do those properties for those towns, do they now add to the pilot properties? Is that automatic? No, no. They're they're um the pilot property the the pilot payments are for um buildings that are owned by the state for and then there's a payment for um, Montpelier an additional payment and there's an additional payment out of the pilot fund for um, the Department of Corrections in Springfield I believe and then there's a pilot for state-owned lands that is paid by the Agency of Natural Resources budget okay. so a private nonprofit um, there's no pilot for that. That's just not on the tax rolls. Got it. Got it. Thank you. So, okay. So we will have this one on for a vote on Tuesday. And then we'll, in all this free time we've got, which I have a feeling is going away very quickly, um, we can we can find some time, and I'm sure Graham can dig us up the tax exempt report. I know we got as far as my senior housing from one senator, and it gets very difficult. It does. Uh, yeah, yeah and well, most of them are very good properties, and we're talking about trying to add more with the housing for the developmentally disabled potentially potentially well they need housing and yeah we're going to be putting more housing off the tax rolls if we do that okay no questions all right thank you thank you have a good weekend thanks karen yes. thank you, karen. Bye. Nobody get used to this schedule. <laughs> Ending live stream now.